So in this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly how you fix that one time, that one time that you have your ISO set way too high or the lighting was horrible and you have a lot of grain in your footage. I'm gonna tell you exactly how you get your video and save that video footage for that grainy video files and how you reduce that noise all within this video. I'll show you how to make crispier videos. So if you stay all the way to the end, I'll show you exactly how. My name is Peter. Smash that thumbs up and let's get into this. And that beginning intro was me shooting at around 4,000 ISO, 1 over 50, 3.5. And as you can see, the more I raise up the ISO, the less clear the video will be. And there's a lot of this digital noise, as you can see, if I bump up the ISO. And how you fix that, the easiest way, the number one easiest way is how you avoid that, is to avoid that in general. So how you do that? Number one, making sure your ISO does not go above, let's say, 1200. Especially if you're on an APS-C camera like this Sony, Sony, this Nikon Z50, is that for me, when I shoot with this camera, I don't want to shoot anywhere above 2000, 3200 ISO. And what ISO is, it is the light sensitivity that the camera has with it, its sensor. The higher the number is, the more sensitive it is, which yes, creates a brighter image, but it will also produce digital noise, especially if there is not like a good lighting situation. So number one is how you reduce your grain and fix your noise is to have good lighting so right now i'm going to turn off my lighting my key light right here and then i'm going to bump up my iso and you'll see that there's going to be this little specs that is going to be the noise i am shooting at 25,600 iso i literally turned off all my light sources the only light sources i have now are from these screens where i'm being backlit everything else is pretty dark but yes as you can see you can see me because i bumped up the iso but now if you see in the background i'll probably zoom in so it may get more obvious is you'll see a lot of that digital noise so like i said how you fix that is by having good lighting all right oh the struggle Because as you can see, the higher the ISO is, the more sensitive the camera is to light. And as you see the difference from that is like now, I am a little bit well lit. I'm gonna turn off my softbox. All right, so how you avoid fixing your noisy footage is to avoid it completely. And you're better off with, let's say, a little bit overexposed than completely noise and cranking up the ISO. Both on both spectrums are very horrible. You want to avoid it in general. But let's say, Peter, cool story, bro. But I already filmed this interview. It took me, you know, two hours. I can't go and reshoot. There's so much time and effort. Can I save my footage? Just tell me. And there is a couple workarounds. I'm going to show you in Adobe Premiere. But like I said, you want to avoid this in completely if you want to either refilm it or reshoot, I highly suggest that. But let's say you already filmed the interview already and how do you fix it? Yes, if there's a little bit of noise, there is one or two certain workarounds that you can do in post-production. I'm gonna jump into a, a door premiere and show you exactly how you fix that. So the easiest way of how you fix that in door premiere by going into your effects panel and applying something called VR denoise and what this will do is although it is a for VR or 360 videos you can apply this onto your 2D videos all you do is you drag and drop into your effects panel and then it will make all of your video smoother it smoothens out everything but because of its you can change the noise cuz its default profile is set at something crazy like 1 point zero but what you want to do is you go into the effects panel here and change the number down to anywhere from 0.01 to 0.06 those are the numbers that i recommend play around with it how it looks and yes this little trick or effect can save your video files to a certain degree and another way of how you fix that is you go into your lumetri color scopes and you adjust how the shadows will look as well as changing up the highlights values you drag this up and down play around with the video because i don't know how your video is exposed 
So if it is a little underexposed, you want to crank up the exposure just a little bit and try adjusting your shadows and your highlights, and that should reduce your noise. If the video itself increases in noise, then you might want to do the opposite. And that is the simple way of how you fix that within Adobe Premiere. And if you have After Effects, there is a denoise that you effect that you can apply. And the same thing of principles apply. You know, you want to apply a little bit to it, but you don't want to make it apply it too much so it smoothens out everything. And that's how you save your noisy or pretty much too much grain within your video footage within Premiere, After Effects with the denoise effect. And that guys, that is how you fix your noisy or grainy videos and how you get the best video settings. Check that out, link in the description if you want to check out that video first. And uh, my name is Peter. Make sure you grab all my camera guides, my links, my freebies, my goodies. If you want to get serious about content creation, learning how to get your best video, even if you have a Nikon camera, link in the description. Check that out. My name is Peter. You're watching Broke Vision and Collective. And we all serve nothing, but you can always create something.